today to celebrate the decision by Rachel and Shamir to share their lives together as husband and wife. As family and friends of Rachel and Shamir, we are here to participate in their wedding ceremony, to rejoice with them as they make a new commitment and important in their lives. More than marriage itself, we are here to acknowledge their public declaration of love for each other. Such love as they have for each other can only grow out of the genuine respect and caring they have for each other, as well as the respect and caring they have for their own selves. Such love is the highest form of respect and caring, and marriage is its celebration. Blessed are you who come here in God's name. <coughs> oh, most awesome, glorious, and blessed God, grant your blessings to this bride and Lord. In this sacred hour, and at this special moment in time, we open our hearts in prayer and in love on behalf of Rachel and Shamir. They have come here with special gifts, their love, their hopes and dreams, and their faith in each other. May they be moved to give and to share, to grow together as a couple and as individuals. May they share their experiences and their feelings with one another, and thereby find life's deepest meaning and richest happiness. May the covenant which Shamir and Rachel now seal always be blessed with truth and devotion. And may their lives be bound together in understanding and with intimacy, so to enable all of life's experiences by sharing them always together in life. Rachel and Shamir, tonight you stand under the purple. As you move from the sacred space to the home you will create together, we pray that you may always share strong values and deep love as we offer our prayer in gratitude. We praise you, O God, ruler of the universe who has given us life, sustained us, and brought us to this very special moment in time. Marriage is in part a public declaration of a commitment made by two people who love each other and to share their lives together. <coughs> Shamir, living in the trust which your love for Rachel and her love for you creates, and being concerned for the love and understanding which can alone give your life and marriage the richness and fullness of heart, mind, and body, will you dedicate yourself to the growth of this love with Rachel as your wife throughout all the changing experiences of your life? And Rachel, living in the trust which your love for Shamir and his love for you creates, and being concerned for the love and understanding which can alone give your life and marriage the richness and fullness of heart, mind, and body, will you dedicate yourself to the growth of this love with Shamir as your husband throughout all the changing experiences of your life? Do you, Shamir, take Rachel to be your wife, promising to be open to her while cherishing her uniqueness, to comfort and challenge her through life's sorrow and joy, to share your intuition and insight with her, and above all, to do everything within your power to permit her to become the person she is yet to be. Rachel takes Shamir to be your husband, promising to be open to him while cherishing his uniqueness, to comfort and challenge him through life's sorrow and joy, to share your intuition and insight with him, and above all, to do everything within your power to permit him to become the person he is yet to be. As together we now drink from this cup, so may you under God's guidance 
in perfect union and devotion to each other, draw contentment, comfort, and felicity from the cup of life. Thereby may you find life's joys doubly gladdening, its bitterness sweetening, all things hallowed by true companionship and love. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit. Sometimes when I think about you, it almost scares me how much I care. 